challenges that we may face, Madam Speaker, is for us to collaborate and for us to work together in, in one accord. So, Madam Speaker, I would just like to wish the people of Angola a uh, healthy and prosperous 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member. Honorable Single Island White Electoral District Member, Ms. Mrs. Quincia Gums Murray. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Happy New Year to you. Happy New Year to the, uh, the staff of the House who has done a tremendous job in uh, helping us with our transition into uh, government and parliament. And we look forward to closely working with them in this year as others. This year, we will have a very tremendous uh, legislative agenda. And I know that the work of this house will be plentiful, but it will be for the people of Angola. And as I had an opportunity to look over the words shared with us by the chaplain, I too recognize that um, the, the scripture to be fitting for where we're at. And, and we think of season. And this is a season of built a nation that really captures and reflects values of strength, freedom, and pride. And this is the work that we have to do for 2021 and beyond. I also want to take this opportunity to, to thank and say Happy New Year to the people of Angola, similar to my colleague, uh, single island wide member, Mr. Kyle Hodge. Uh, we, we don't have the luxury of looking at one district. We, uh, with immense pride, represent all districts of Angola. So through districts one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, uh, Happy New Year, and we look forward to working with you to realize the Angola, the Angola we imagine that we promised the people of Angola. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Single Island White Electoral District Member, Mrs. Quincy uh, Gums Marie. Honorable Member for Valley South. Uh, thank you, Madam Speaker. Um, um, thank you for this opportunity, and I want to wish this House and the members of this House um, a Happy New Year. Um, this is the turn of a new, a new year, yes, but it is the continuation of life as we know it. Life as we know it has changed drastically over the past nine months since the onset of the global pandemic. But what it has reminded us, Madam Speaker, is that we must remain grateful and one of the very important principles when going through times of uncertainty is to hold on to things that we are grateful for. And I am grateful in this moment for the opportunity to serve the people of Anguilla in this capacity, especially the people of District 4, to whom I wish to, to extend a Happy New Year greeting. But I'm also grateful for the work that the government is doing to ensure that Anguilla remains safe, that we protect our people, and that we can open our country sustainably in the, in the coming months. Um, I want to take this opportunity, Madam Speaker, to say that although things are challenging and times are uncertain, it is an opportunity for us as a people to walk together and I know we say that a lot. It's like a catchphrase, walking together, collaborating, partnership. But it is a very serious principle because unless we collaborate, nothing can be achieved. And as we look forward to this 2021 year, I want to impress upon the people of Anguilla that the best way for us to make it a happy new year is for us to take that togetherness and collaboration seriously. So I just want to join with my colleagues in saying Happy New Year to the people of Anguilla and thank you for the opportunity. Thank you, Honorable Member for Valley South. Honorable Acting Attorney General. Deputy. Oh, sorry, <laughs> Deputy <laughs> Governor. That's right, Deputy Governor, I'm sorry. Yes. Deputy Governor, Thank Mrs. You. Kathleen Rogers, yes. Madam Speaker, a blessed New Year to you and our members of the House and the staff of HOA. In my capacity as acting Deputy Governor, I wish to, wish, I wish to say a blessed New Year to all public servants and a productive 2021. Mm -hmm. I know that 2020 was a challenging year and very difficult for many of us. 
and I want to thank all public servants for the service during the difficult times. I look forward to 2021 with the expectation that we will strive to serve with excellence. <coughs> to my staff in the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Health in particular, I want to say keep up the good work. In general, I would like to wish the people of Anguilla, both here and abroad, a blessed and healthy 2021. May God bless you all. To my family and friends, I love you all. Thank you. That was inspiring. <laughs> you don't hear love enough. Honorable Member for Island Harbor, Leader of Government Business, Honorable Premier. Uh, good, Madam Speaker, good morning and good morning to all. Uh, certainly, uh, we have turned the clock from 2020 to 2021 and it's good to be here. Uh, but I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, wish a happy and healthy and a successful new year to to everyone, you, Madam Speaker, for uh, you know getting us to this point and for the way that you have graciously handled uh, you know us and those on the other side of the aisle. I'd like to wish uh, the same to the opposition, to the members of the cabinet. Uh, the acting governor who would be here, but in his new role, uh, he's not. Uh, so I'd like to wish him the same and success as he carries us through until the uh, swearing in of the new governor. I wish us traveling mercies. Happy New Year also. Uh, Madam Speaker, the people of District 1 who have been resilient, who have stood tall and who have helped to um, get us to this point where we can uh, be able to stand in the house representing them. I'd like to say a happy, pleasant, and a, a successful new year to each uh, person uh, from uh, District 1. Uh, to the rest uh, of Anguilla, Anguillians here at home and abroad, and to friends of Anguilla, I'd like to uh, say happy new year. Uh, being afforded this opportunity. Uh, we had a meeting with the Anguillians in the United Kingdom over the weekend, and it, it was very heartening to know that Anguillians, uh, wherever they are, still think about the rock and, and about this being home and wanting to maintain this paradise. And so I want to uh, thank God uh, most of all for um, giving us this opportunity uh, to be able to, uh, to, to stand here to represent uh, the people of Anguilla. Uh, those who have helped us through 2020 and the tough times uh, by working hard, um, I want to especially uh, single out our hospitality workers and our frontline workers who put themselves in uh, harm's way, not caring about their own health, but caring about the health and well-being of uh, this country. Uh, I did say in, at New Year's that this was a year of sacrifice and hope. And the single island-wide uh, member, uh, Mr. Jose Vanderpool, um, also hinted at that, that we have hope because uh, one, we're alive, two, we have the ability, and three, we are Anguillian, resilient, proud, and strong, and free. To those who have lost loved ones, I'd also like to, uh, you know, wish them uh, strength and comfort. And to those who are sick, and we have Anguillians here who are sick, and Anguillians elsewhere who are sick, and some in critical condition, and I want them and their families to know that we remember them, care about them, because we all are one, unified uh, on the one banner, Anguilla. So again, Madam Speaker, thank you for this opportunity. Uh, thank you for you know, starting out this year on the right foot. For, uh, thank you, Chaplain, for the scripture which you brought to us in this season and this time 
Uh, certainly, uh, you know, not everyone will agree with the decisions that are made, but certainly let them know that this is in the best interest of Anguilla, and I wish, uh, again, Happy New Year to all. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Member for Island Harbor, Leader of Government Business. And I wish to say thank you to the staff of the House of Assembly, my clerk, clerks, uh, the clerical staff, thanks to the chaplain, sergeant of arms, and to all members of the House. May your new year be truly blessed. Thank you all. Madam Speaker, I beg that uh, this Honorable House be adjourned until Tuesday, uh, January. January 26th. Thank you. It has been moved and seconded that this Honorable House stands adjourned until January 26 at 10 a.m. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those against say no. The ayes have it. This Honorable House now stands adjourned until January 26, 10 a.m. Thank you, members. Have a good day.